Hey guys, it's Lorelai here from Birchbox, and in this video I'm going to tell you about a product that we recently added to the Birchbox shop. This is Saint Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower. If you know anything about Saint Tropez, you probably know that they are self-tanner experts, and this product does exactly what the name says. It's a gradual tanning lotion. It's going to give you a really nice even tan. You're not going to wake up with streaks the next morning or any orange skin because it's gradual and you can see exactly where it's developing and you use it in the shower which is really unique and makes it easy to use you just apply it all over after you wash your body wait three minutes and then rinse off I am gonna do a little test drive with this product so you guys can see how to use it how it works and what the before and after looks like so let's head over to my bathroom Hey guys, we're on day two of using the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower product and so far everything is great. It's a gradual product so I can see I have a little bit of a glow but so far no orange streaks or anything of that sort and that's great news for someone who's pale like me. That's always my biggest fear. I did learn a couple of things yesterday in using the product that I wanted to give you the heads up on. Number one is if you're washing your hair, you definitely want to bring a clip or something in to just tie your hair up while the product is on your skin. You don't want any water to be dripping on it. Um, number two is you should definitely rinse off your hands just like when you're using any self tanning product you don't want your hands to look unnaturally tanned or orange um, and number three is that when you're drying off with your towel definitely pat gently don't rub um, I noticed that I wasn't paying super close attention yesterday and there were a few areas where I could see some of the color transferred onto my towel now once the product was dried you know I did not have any problem with the transferring onto my clothes so don't be worried about that but I think take a little bit more care when you're drying off with this product on. Um, that's it for me for now. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to go try this again right now and I will give you guys an update tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's day three. I have just showered, used the gradual tan lotion, um, got ready, did my makeup before work, um, and wanted to give you guys the update. So far, nothing really new to report. Everything is looking great. I have a nice little glow, but doesn't look unnatural at all. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know um, the answers to a few questions I thought that you might have just about the product. So. First of all, the consistency, it feels just like lotion. Um, it's really nice going on. It's nice and thick, um, but doesn't feel gross at all. Second of all, I thought you might be curious about the smell because self-tanning products do tend to have sort of uh, an odor to them that some people find unpleasant. This does have a little bit of a light fragrance when you put it on um, in the shower. You can definitely smell the lotion, but as soon as you rinse it off, there's nothing and it's not overpowering in any way. You know, people next to you aren't going to be able to smell you and tell that you're using a self tanning product. Um, third, the time that you leave it on is three minutes, and they definitely recommend that you don't leave it on for more than three minutes. I think that's not gonna really help the product develop anymore. It just might lead to sort of a less even tan. Um, and that's it. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing this. I'm gonna put a before and after photo in great lighting so that you can see really the difference from day one to day three. And I, you know, hope that you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about it. I'm so happy to answer um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!